in the latest edition of How to Grow Grass in a Mosquito-Infested Swampland. Stay tuned for more as we talk about what to expect on the overseeded cypress greens as they transition into the summer months. Those overseeded greens are looking really good going into Memorial Day. But what happens when the heat kicks up and they start to die off? Last year as a company, we made the decision to renovate the cypress greens from Emerald Bermuda grass over to Tip Eagle, which makes a lot of people happy, including myself. The winter time hit, the freeze hit, some of the worst temps we've ever seen here in Houston in a long, long time, and kind of changed our plans a little bit, forcing us to renovate the pecan greens instead, um, leaving us with cypress to do in 2022. So, which is good news. Um, the issue at hand now is to transition from the overseeded grass, which we did because we knew we would be renovating and um, you know didn't really care what we had behind, but now we're forced with the dilemma of trying to make the best of this situation here on Cypress. So uh, we will be transitioning our overseeded grass, trying to get it back to Bermuda, but we're also going to throw in a special little twist to it to make sure we get through the season. The greens makeup of these greens with the overseed added in is a rough blue grass, Poetrivialis, and a creeping bent grass, and also the underlying Bermuda grass. All goes in to make the surface you see today. While Bermuda grass is designed to take temps up into the hundreds with no problem, and the humidity that we experience here in Houston, blue grasses and bent grasses are not the same. They'll tend to start dying out once you start reaching temps up in the 90s during the day, and especially Texas humidity. They'll start to die out, which is why you don't see much of it down here in Houston anymore. Upon closer inspection, you can see the three grasses all together. You can see right here, you can see a little bit of the Bermuda grass where you can see a little brown stem behind it. Also see kind of the darker green, smaller leaf stuff. Is your poetry trivialis it's going to start melting out as soon as we hit temps up in the 90s then you also see some of your bent grass it's kind of running here almost laying down very similar color to the bermuda grass but very different in how it tolerates the heat as we talk about that previously mentioned freeze that affected so much of southeast america and bermuda grass courses all over what exactly is going to happen with these overseeded greens as they start to die out. Are we gonna have enough Bermuda grass to support and transition back to a playing surface that we can use, especially with pecan course being closed right now for renovation. Right now I'm seeing maybe 10, 15, 20% Bermuda grass on these greens, where normally around Memorial Day, I'd probably be seeing closer to 50, 60%. And we'd be trying to phase it out and push that Bermuda grass to come back like we did last year. I'm not seeing that as much this year, so what do we do to make sure we have a putting surface that can get through the summer months? So with pecan being closed till August sometime for renovation, what do we do on these cypress greens to keep a playable putting surface for you? You know, normally with this time of year with the overseed, you'd be trying to force it out. You're trying to do stuff like verticutting, top dressing, airifying, fertilizing, heat stress, all those good things to try to promote as much Bermuda grass as you can but we're not seeing as much as we normally would so rather than have that and have all the voids and you know have surfaces that probably aren't very playable at all with no golf um, we decided to keep what we have in the overseed add some additional bent grass to the mix some really heat stress heat tolerant stuff that um, does really well we're going to try to incorporate that to try to get us into the fall. Once pecan opens back up, we'll have a little bit of relief over here on Cypress, but we still wanna have some type of surface to play on to get us into October, where in October I can overseed again like we did last year, get to get us into the springtime when we can renovate these greens. So we introduced the process of interseeding that a lot of guys with bent grass do all across America. The seed drops the soil into a slit that's created by these little discs on the machine every couple inches. The roller comes behind, gets the seed firmly pressed down into the trench. And you can see from this diagram that 
good seed soil contact is going to give you better results, especially when we have foot traffic and golfers walking on it. And you would imagine a lot of that gets picked up, but you can see it coming up very well in the trenches three to five days after it's planted. We'll use a machine that creates a tighter spacing than this, but we'll do it on three to four different directions so that it comes up into the existing turf. So that's the process. The question is, will it work? Houston, Texas, high humidity. When's the last bent grass golf course you've seen here in Houston? Lock and Var had it up until about 2010, got rid of it. The closest bent grass you're gonna find is in the hill country or up in Dallas. So, you know, what's to say it's gonna work? Well, you know, we've got a three or four month window where we can do things to, to manage it, manage our moisture, fungicides, um, try to baby it the best we can. We won't, obviously won't be aerifying, won't be heavy verticutting or doing much of that. We'll just be trying to maintain the surface as it is to get us into the fall. I think if it was a two, three, four year deal, it'd probably be something that wouldn't be as successful, probably wouldn't try it. But I think in the situation that we've had where we've got to be able to have something playable for you guys for the next couple months, I think this is the best case scenario. If we try to transition the Bermuda grass, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be sandy. It's You're not going to want to putt on it. But I think this gives us at least a turf grass that you can putt on, you can play on. We're not going to stress it out too much or push it over the top, but we're going to have a turf surface that you can put on until pecans open and then until we get into the fall when we can get these things um, you know, overseeded again if necessary. It's, it's possible the bent grass holds on and we have, you know, almost 100% uh, bent grass greens into next spring, which will be amazing. Um, probably the best putting that you're going to find anywhere around here. So desperate times call for desperate measures. Um, we've got the crew and the team ready and able to take on this endeavor. So um, just wanted to give you guys the update on what's going on. We're going to give you the best thing we can.